Tesla has just rolled out full self-driving beta for vehicles equipped with hardware 4. What does this mean? Well, possibly not what you think. And there's a reason for that. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. It's great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Bit of confusion around hardware 4. Recently, Elon Musk made some comments saying hardware 4 won't have its capabilities installed when it first rolls out. Basically, now it doesn't have it. Meaning, new Tesla Model 3s, Cybertrucks won't have Hardware 4's full capability. The reason for that is to do with, I think, the Dojo network. Now, Tesla are using the Dojo supercomputer, which is the fastest computer in the world, by a significant margin, in fact, to train Hardware 4. And that's sort of just starting to happen now. And that's the reason, the primary reason why Hardware 4 doesn't yet have its full capabilities. Now, people are saying that hardware 4 won't work as well as hardware 3 based on what Elon Musk said. That's not what he said. That's what the media told you. It's not what actually Elon Musk himself said. Tesla has, in fact, begun rolling out full self-driving beta in its hardware 4 equipped vehicles. Those include right now the Model S and the X, and it's believed the new 3 and Cybertruck will have them as well. Elon Musk previously warned that the technology on the new hardware will lag behind that of Hardware 3 by around six months. But we don't know exactly what that means. How does it lag behind? Because for one, the new Hardware 4 has much better resolution cameras. It has five megapixel cameras instead of one, and it also has an additional camera. Plus it has a better self-driving chip. Tesla, though, has begun rolling out its full self-driving beta software for vehicles equipped with hardware 4, and a few of the company's customers in North America reported this a few hours ago. The owner of a Tesla Model Y reported that his car has received the 2023-26-11 update. Along with it, full self-driving beta was loaded onto the car. This was an interesting surprise. He didn't expect to get this and just went, oh, okay, this has happened. So far, this is the first known hardware for equipped vehicle to receive full self-driving beta. Now, Sawyer Merritt also reported that several of his followers received the new feature update. So it seems that a few people now have received this update. Full self-driving beta 4 is now available on all hardware for Teslas in North America. So if you have a vehicle with hardware 4, you should be able to actually download or update your car's computer system just connect to the internet of course and you can go through the process and now get the full self-driving beta for your tesla model x or x or well, any tesla car equipped with hardware 4. up to this point full self-driving beta was not available for vehicles equipped with hardware 4. however this past weekend elon musk wrote that hardware 4 software will lag hardware 3 by at least another six months he said our focus needs to be on getting full self-driving or hardware 3 working super well and provided internationally. But I think it's actually more to do with getting all the calibration right with the different cameras. And also, like I said, getting the Dojo supercomputer up and working, being able to train the neural network for the hardware 4 system. It's obviously different parameters. This has led to a large number of people, though, to think that cars with hardware 4 would not receive full self-driving for about six months. But that isn't actually true. Musk did not explicitly point this out. However, due to a combination of circumstances and some words, Tasmanian says that there was confusion in the perception of what he was saying. At the moment, the main thing is that the owners of cars with hardware 4 finally do have access to this function. So yeah, if you have it, you can download the full self-driving beta now. However, it's expected the rollout will likely be slow and take time for full self-driving beta to actually come to all vehicles. So it's possible that yours won't be able to be updated, but it has just been tweeted, like I said, that apparently all owners of hardware 4 who have purchased full self-driving as an option on their car do have the ability now to download the beta version of this feature. It'll be interesting to see how good this is. No one actually knows yet. So... If you do know, if you've downloaded it, let us know in the comments. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.